Hi, I'm James Mayhew and I'm the illustrator of Mrs. Noah's Pockets and the sequel, Mrs. Noah's Garden. A wonderful new story about Mrs. Noah by Jackie Morris. And in this story, Mrs. Noah tries to come to terms with her new home. And the only way she feels she can do that is to start making a garden. It's so bleak though, she can't wait to plant things. Here she is sprinkling some seeds into the soil because the one thing she misses from home most of all is the garden. If you saw Mrs Noah's pockets you might remember there were some wonderful mythological creatures that she saved from the flood. And here's a dragon giving her children a ride and they're all helping her build the garden. But although she's planting seeds in the ground and growing things in the ground Mrs. Noah has a wonderful secret because she isn't just growing things in the ground. She's also growing something very special inside her tummy. And she gets more and more excited. Then one magical night, she sleeps under the moon. The next morning when everyone wakes up, Mrs. Noah's big surprise is ready. Did you guess what the surprise was? She'd had a new baby. So not only does the garden grow, but children grow, babies grow in Mrs. Noah's magical garden. And I'm going to show you how I made these illustrations now. A lot of the illustrations in Mrs. Noah's garden and Mrs. Noah's pockets are made using printmaking. So I've made this piece of lino and it's just been cut in a, a fairly random pattern. And I'm going to print that on some different papers to get some interesting texture. This is something children could have a go at using perhaps potato prints. I've got some music paper here. Let's see what that looks like. I can use this just to rub on the lino. Oh, I like that. I'm sure I can use that in something. So now the ink is dry, I can start cutting up the paper and hopefully making some interesting things. I'm also going to use some crayons and do some scribbling on some paper just to see if I can get some other interesting textures like this. Let's see what happens. One of the things I like about this book is there's lots and lots of experimenting and uh, sometimes surprising things happen. There's the piece with the music on, which I particularly like. So I'm going to cut the shape out of that. Oh, that looks a bit like a tail of something. So I'm going to continue cutting that, I like that. That could definitely be the tail of a creature. So I think this creature needs a neck. Hmm. That's almost the right shape. Let's cut a bit there and glue that down. That could be the beginning of the neck. It needs a head. That's the same sort of texture but a different colour. That could be a good head. Let's put a mouth shape inside. Oh yes, that's beginning to look a bit like a dragon now. How exciting is that? The dragon needs wings. What would look good for wings, I wonder? That's probably too dark. Oh, some tissue paper. Let's cut that up and make the dragon some wings. And now the dragon needs some legs, I think. Perhaps the orange colour again would look good. Yes, I like that. Yes, definitely. So I'm going to cut some little claws for the dragon, like that. I think the last thing he needs 
is an eye. And it needs to be something that's going to show up. So it's a different kind of colour. Now, should the eye be darker? Or should it be brighter? Quite like that. That's rather an exciting colour, isn't it? Oops, let's try that. That's quite fun. And then I can put a purple dot in the middle. Here comes a little dot. Fiddly to cut out these small bits. Blob of glue. And there's the dinosaur's eye, or dragon's eye. Now you can keep on adding things to the dragon. You can give him teeth, and maybe you give him some horns, maybe some spikes, uh, make him look really, really fantastic. So I'm just going to add very quickly some teeth. I'm going to use the purple again. So I'm just going to cut some zigzags like this. And pop them in like this. It's almost like a set of false teeth. So there we have uh, a dragon, a mythological creature, one of the magic creatures saved by Mrs. Noah and who now lives in Mrs. Noah's garden. And maybe you can try and make your own creatures and mythological monsters. Maybe you can keep pieces of paper, um, recycle things, boxes of cornflakes or newspapers or magazines, or you can try and paint or print your own papers using potatoes or crayons or anything. And then you can cut them all up and see what creatures you can make. Maybe you can make flowers and a garden for them as well. A magical garden, just like the one that Mrs. Noah makes. <laughs>